Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another Orion Tech Tips video. Here we are installing 64 gigabytes of Kingston Fury DDR5 5600 megahertz CL40 on the Dell G16. Now, if you want to learn more about the Dell G16, I've done a unboxing and first impressions video. I've done a installing a four terabyte Western Digital SN850X and also some performance videos if you are curious to check that out as well as my four months later. Now in that video I said that the laptop came with 32 gigabytes of a DDR5 4800 megahertz which was fine and to be clear 32 gigabytes is fine if you're just gaming uh, technically 16 is fine. If you're just gaming, I would recommend 32 because if you only have 60, if you only have 16 and you're playing like AAA games, it, you will quickly or you will sometimes run out of memory, which will cause uh, hitches, frame drops, and then it will swap to your drive, which will uh, degrade, potentially degrade your drive faster. So why do I have 64? Well, it's because I run virtual machines, 4K video editing, a lot of demanding tasks. 64 gigabytes is always full. So, you know, the machine supports up to 64. So I'm going to uh, upgrade it now. And it's a lot cheaper if you do it yourself than if you make Dell do it. Uh, you also only get 4,800 megahertz if Dell doesn't. So, okay, uh, lay down like a mouse mat or a towel or something that will not scratch the surface. I here have a Corsair extended mouse mat. Pretty cheap. It's held up for years now. So I definitely recommend this thing. Uh, to start with, flip over the laptop. We have 11 Phillips head screws. So let's get that off. And, um... Then you can install the RAM. Okay, now since we have all 11 screws undone, now just take your pick and slide it through, opening up the chassis. I will say before you do this, make sure the laptop is powered off. <laughs> Boom, just like that, the laptop is opened up. First thing we do is unplug the batteries. We see the cheap, can you see these like cheap green, just single-sided sodium uh, SK Hynix basic green RAM. Not a fan at all, but let's just... Uh, Take these out using our thumbs, just pull on the clips and boom, it should come out. This is what it looks like. Bam, bam, ba bam. Then the other kit or the other stick router. So keep in mind, since we are installing DDR5, uh, it's two channels per stick. So we are getting uh, four channels. Let's just open up our Kingston Fury. Bam, bam. Boom. Nice. Kingston Fury Impact DDR5 double sided. This thing is an absolute beauty. Okay, so uh, this only goes in one way, so just line it up at a 90 degree angle and push down with your thumbs. Boom, stick one is installed. Ninety degree angle. Boom, stick two is installed. I <laughs> see it also comes with this nice Kingston Fury sticker. And warranty. I believe it has like a 30 day manufacturer warranty. 
Oh, so no, lifetime onesie. <laughs> My bad. That's much better. Lifetime onesie. It also uh, gives you like a guide of how to install the RAM. Bam. Bam. Okay. Uh, so tip, if this is your machine, if it's brand new, close it up, screw in the screws, but what I'm going to do is clean out the machine first, and then, uh, screw on the side panel, or the, um, back case, rather. Okay, boom, um, I cleaned it. You might want to check the connection settings in the Google Home Google, I did not call you. So now, as you can see, I got the dust off the fans. I may do, like, a deeper cleaning where I actually go in deep, replace the thermal paste. But, uh, this will have to do for now. Okay, uh, let's plug back in the battery and screw on the side panel. that we have installed 64 gigabytes of DDR5 5600 bit or CL40 which is the fastest RAM with the fastest timings we can get in a laptop so that is pretty cool okay so now let's boot up our laptop boom Now, keep in mind, this will take a minute just because we unplugged the battery, which re resets the CMOS. So uh, don't panic. This will take longer than usual. And boom, here we are. We've loaded in. So it just says alert date and time uh, have not been set up. This is just because we unplugged the battery, which re resets the CMOS. So this is no big deal. We can just press continue and it will boot into Windows as normal. And boom, you can see here that we have 63.7, so the 64 gigabytes have been successfully installed. Let's wrap up, and I will give you my final thoughts. Okay, Editor Orion Tech Tips here. I just finished editing up that video, and now I am recording this on the front-facing camera of the Dell G16, as well as using the inbuilt microphone, so I'm curious what you guys think of this. Now, I just want to reiterate the fact that if you are going, if you are just gaming, then 32 gigabytes is all you need. Going to 64 will not help you at all. I've never maxed out my 32 when I'm just gaming. Again, if you're doing stuff like virtual machines, so I've already been using this. Uh, I was installing four virtual machines at once, and I did go up to 53 gigabytes. Uh, so for me, 64 gigabytes of RAM has been very beneficial because I've constantly been maxing out my 32. And if you have as well with your workload, then yes, I would recommend going to 64 because it has been quite helpful for me. Now, I got another comment I want to address saying that uh, can it go up to 96? And honestly, I don't know. 64 runs excellent in my laptop. Uh, and Dell themselves say it only goes up to 64. I haven't tried 96. However, if you are going to buy a 96 gigabyte kit to put in your laptop, a, make sure you actually need that much RAM, because if you, chances are, if you need 96 gigabytes of RAM or more, you should probably be on a desktop. You probably need full-on desktop performance, but I could be wrong. Uh, the only person that knows is you. So just uh, make sure you know if your workload actually requires 96 gigabytes of RAM. Um, then, make sure if you actually buy it, make sure 
that you actually have a return policy that if it doesn't work, you can return it, get a refund, and then buy a 64 gigabyte stick. Or kit, rather, because I mean, it's two 32 gigabyte sticks. Now, I would recommend installing the RAM yourself. It is significantly, significantly cheaper, and that was actually my first time uh, installing laptop RAM. I, I quickly just read some tutorials. I'm like, okay, that's simple enough. Yes, I've built a lot of desktop PCs and upgraded them, but it is so easy to do. I mean, again, that was my first time, so I would not recommend wasting your money and getting Dell to do it your, themselves. Uh, again, it's a lot of money, and also, if you pay Dell a fortune for them to do it, well then, not only are you paying more, you also get worse quality parts. So you're just getting that super cheap, super low-end 48 megahertz or 4800 megahertz RAM versus the 5600 megahertz RAM that I actually had here. Uh, it also looks a lot better, uh, but just, yeah, again... My personal opinion, if you do want to save money, if you do want higher quality parts, just do it yourself. Uh, same goes for storage. But yeah, okay, that's going to do it for me. If you have a request for a future video, I would be happy to do it. Somebody also asked me, how does Valorant run? I'd imagine it runs very well, uh, but I'm happy to make a video and actually test that uh, for you. So if you have any game benchmarks or any other things that you want me to make on this channel, please drop a comment, and if I can do it, I would be happy to make the video for you guys. Anyway, I really, really appreciate the support and feedback I got on my last video. It's been shocking. I didn't think I would get 10,000 views on a YouTube video. It's absolutely insane. But from the bottom of my heart, uh, thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. God bless. Thank you.